I never would have expected him to have gone as far as he has thinking of all the things we went through when he was a child. The support that we get as parents, uh, we feel like we're part of an ARC family and not just um, a customer. My name is Tyler Sipek. I'm 27 years old. I work over at USAA Bank. I uh, do filing and sorting paper and putting in dates on the computer. As a single father, it gives me a place to take Rebecca. She went to a daycare center and she's 14 years old now. And as you can imagine, it's not, it's, it wasn't the most appropriate setting for her because she was with a, a bunch of little children, tiny children. And so this is really the most appropriate setting for her. It just means so much for my husband and I to know that Matthew is going to a program where he is being stimulated, where he's being uh, allowed to socialize with his friends and to have fun and just to, you know, to live a normal life. We all know we're here tonight to raise money for the Ark of San Antonio, and I really like that part. But we are also here to recognize two very special people, Sean and Debbie Kennedy. They volunteer their time and resources to give everyone in our community a better life. At the Ark, Sean and Debbie have stuffed convention bags with their participants in our work center and helped raise $1.7 million for our capital campaign. Their hearts are in the right place, and so are their hands. Sean and Debbie, thank you for being you. When we moved to San Antonio in 2001, we moved as a family. We have three children. Our oldest at the time was in eighth grade. Our middle child was in sixth grade. And then we had Katie, who's our two-year-old, uh, and she's special needs. She was born with Down syndrome. And when we came to the community, we immediately began searching out opportunities for us to get involved in the special needs community. We initially did that through the Down Syndrome Association. And then we're, we were introduced to organizations like The Ark and Mission Road and Kinetic Kids. And so because of Katie, we really have been introduced to many of the elements within San Antonio to support our special needs community. When we visited The Ark not long ago, we spent some time with the, the adults out at the playground and we were with them throughout the classrooms. And each seemed to have a whole different uh, chemistry happening in each room where they, they were either playing games, they were doing things like preparing the, the votives that will be on the tables for the gala, and everyone felt like they had a purpose. And I think that that takes just a huge amount of creativity by the staff. It takes a lot of effort by a lot of different people to bring together that kind of a community feel. Many of you may not know that uh, we have special needs children that are born into families where both parents need to work for economic reasons. And if, during the day while they're at work, their options relative to where their child can be if they're not in the traditional school system are very limited. The ARC is an organization that supports families in that situation and takes care of their children or their adults during the day so mom and dad can work and provide the economic requirements or living, if you will, for the family. So it fills a very important need. The ARC Gala is the annual fundraiser for the ARC organization. And it's an incredible opportunity for individuals, families, and companies to come together on this night to give back to the community. They're supporting families who have special needs children. Uh, they're giving those families hope. Uh, they're putting joy into their lives by knowing that when their children go to the ark and they go to work, their children are cared for, they're loved, they're fed, and that's what this evening is all about. It's about giving back to the community and really giving from the heart uh, and providing that hope and that joy to those families. We are truly blessed in San Antonio to have such an organization like the ARC who helps families who have special needs children. From a mom's perspective, it's a really important to have those kind of resources available. And I know that we will benefit from those. We have already benefited from those and we will benefit from those in the future. So we hope that what results is that people will give, not until it hurts, but until it feels really good. I just really love the yard. It's very educational, the yard. The reason that I like coming to the yard is because the people that work here make me feel special and loved. The ark really, 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 really rules. I think the ark is great. I think everybody should come. Mm -hmm.